two lasers enter, but only one will leave. Welcome to Thunderdome, bitch. What's up guys, I'm Nick, and this is Build Dad Build. And that's right, we may have found the X-Tool Killer. Today we'll be reviewing the Atezer P20 Plus. Now I know I said I wasn't gonna do any more diode laser reviews unless something piqued my interest, and this one piqued it, baby. Oh, oh it piqued it. I actually wanted to review it because it is a 20 watt unit and the only 20 watt unit I've ever used is the X-Tool D1 and D1 Pro. Now, full disclosure and to appease the trolls in my comments, I did get this unit for free and this is a sponsored video, but I do my best to give you my honest opinion when I do these reviews. So right off the bat, I'm gonna hit you with them because I know you wanna hear them. Here are some. Nerd facts. So this is the Atezer P20 Plus. It is a 120 watt machine and the laser module output is 20 to 24 watts. It does have a little bit larger of a footprint with an engraving size of 430 millimeters by 430 millimeters. That is a little bit bigger than the X-Tool D1 Pro and most diode lasers. I might not look at there because it's out of focus, but the laser spot size is 0 0.08 millimeters by 0 0.06 millimeters. And the machine has an engraving accuracy of 0 0.01 millimeters. It has a laser focal length of 40 millimeters and the laser wavelength is plus or minus 455 nanometers. Nanometers? Nanometers? Anyway, don't point this at your eyes, kids. Pew, pew! As you can see here, this unit is about the same size as the X-Tool D1 Pro 20 watt. It is maybe a little, a little slimmer, but for the most part, it's about the same size. Pew, pew! And that concludes Nerd Facts. So let's talk about what I like about the machine first. Like I've said before, in the diode laser industry, we want to see innovations. As you can see, it's an aluminum frame. It's beefy, it's industrial. I just like the aesthetic of it. It does not, however, come in Iron Man red. It does have the kickstand style focusing billet. I have a love-hate relationship to, with this. We'll get to that in a minute. Check this out. The air assist is just kind of built right in and actually comes with the unit. So you have your air assist here. And this is a pretty stout, nice air assist hose. I know it's, I know it's kind of a dumb thing, but when, when you have those thin plastic ones, they just, I don't know, they get, they get hard and they kind of break sometimes. While I'm thinking about it, this is not necessarily for me, but I know a lot of you guys uh, want to make sure that it's Wi-Fi compatible. Can you see the antenna? And it's beefy and I love it, but I do wish that this area right here was a little taller so you could use it as more of a pass-through because here on this side, the cables run underneath here, which kind of gives you like even less room to run under on this side. Not a big deal, but when I'm making a wish list, I'm making a wish list. This is a neat little thing here. This is like the controller box, right? So this is magnetic. It pops off there, pops back on. Whoop. But when you turn it on, okay, so this allows you to do offline carving. So you would put your image or whatever on an SD card. You come over here, you drop that SD card in the slot, and then you would just go to carve, and there's no SD card, but then you would just flip through your files and be able to carve without having the unit attached to your computer at all. And I love the fact that it's magnetic. Boop. And I'm a little obsessed with the size of the laser dot, but we'll get to that later. Okay, before we get to the testing, let's talk about some stuff I'm not so crazy about. In this kickstand earlier, it's, it's so hard to get your finger back there to get it down. I've literally been taking an Allen wrench and popping it out. So I don't know if that'll get better over time, but it's just not, like it needs a, like something to stick out right here that you can get a hold of. And while we're in the laser arena, um, this little window looks really cool, but since it's mirrored, it's really hard to see where your laser is in relation to the work surface. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little dot right there. And the problem is you can't see through this mirror. So you don't know exactly where it is. I like the aesthetic of it, but it's not super functional. 
And then being so close to the surface thing is not an issue with just this laser. The D1 Pro does the same thing. It's, it's so close to it, the material that you're working on that it's, it gets a little sketchy. It gets a little sketch, kids. Uh, if, uh, if it's moving around, it, like it can catch on something if something shifts. And uh, I would like to see that be fixed and I don't know how to do it. But laser guys out there, something to think about. And this is just a complaint on dial lasers in general. x is getting a little bit better about it, but can we move this off the front, at least where the, the cords go? Cause you just, you can't have a good aesthetic with these cords hanging out or even from the side. Like, can we plug it in at the back, please? I mean, I realize you, you want this up here and that's fine, but, but these guys, come on, come on guys. You're better than that. Again, that's a lot of diode lasers, not just this one. But I know what you guys are thinking. Will it cut? Will it kill? So of course I had to try to cut something unnecessarily thick to test this out. So I chose three quarter inch pine. <laughs> now, while it will cut through this thick material, I wouldn't actually suggest doing it ever. It just doesn't make sense. It would take too long. Get yourselves a saw, kids. So this was cut at a rate of three millimeters per second, 100% power. And this is the, a tether. Um, we've got four passes, five passes, and six passes. As you can see, we got through on the sixth pass. Now on the X-Tool D1 Pro, ooh, we got through on five passes. But let's talk about why that might not be a big deal. First off, by using pine, as you can see, we've got a big difference in grain pattern. So that could have had something to do with it, as well as if you look at how close this came to going through, like just a little variance in grain pattern could have had a huge impact on that. You could probably knock that out with a hammer. You could probably knock that out for a dollar. I'd buy that for a dollar. But for argument's sake, let's give the W to the X-Tool D1 Pro. I know you guys are gonna wanna know, does it do stainless steel? And the answer is yes. Here's the weird thing. This is from the X-Tool D1 Pro. Okay, you see those colors? This is from the P20 Plus. So these speeds and powers are the same as, as this area right here, the colored area. And if you notice, almost all of those are dark. So it didn't really anodize, but it definitely marked. So I went ahead and ran some higher speeds. As you can see, it will mark at a higher speed where this one fades out, but you lose the color. You're not getting those cool blues or anything. Like it's just black. So kind of depending on what you want to do with it. So there, I almost have to give the W to the P20 plus because it will mark at higher speeds. But then we have titanium and this is kind of a mixed bag because here's titanium with the X-Tool D1. Like, see all those really good blues? So here's titanium with the P20 Plus. It's, you don't get as vivid of blues in there. Well, if I turn this one upside down, these are pretty close to the same settings for both of them. They're not exact, but the ranges are the same. So with that, I would say the D1 Pro does a better job with titanium. And of course, this laser will engrave on all the normal things. It'll engrave on aluminum. Will cut and engrave on black acrylic. And of course, it will cut and engrave on wood. And before we get to the final ruling, I'd just like to say thanks to all you guys for sticking around to this part in the video. If you have not subscribed, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Super easy. An extra special thanks goes out to all of my patrons, especially my top tier or Boilermaker patrons, Stephen Mann, Eric Weiss, Derek Coates, Chuck Faulkner, Andy the Viking, Todd Stewart, Paul Christensen, Jason Ayers, Reed Means, Cody, the Adirondack guy, Tina, and Derek Steele. Hoo -hoo. Cheersies. If you haven't gotten a chance to go check out my Patreon page, please go check it out. Join up if that's your thing. Now, let's do this. Whoop! Okay, so you know I had to do some tiles, right? So here's the thing. Now, I realize that these both need to be tweaked a little bit settings wise. And so I know this one's darker. We're not paying attention to that. What we're paying attention to is detail. If you look kind of right in here in the hair even, you can see just a little bit more fine detail on this tile than you can on this one. And I think, well this, so this is the X-Tool, this is the P20 Plus. I think the reason you're seeing a little bit better detail on this guy is because of that finer laser point. 
So which one am I picking? Nick, you always pick X tool. Kinda. I'm gonna leave it up to you, and here's why. There, of course, I love me some X Tool. I've, I've, I, I think they're innovators, but I think this is very innovative as well, and that's why I like it. But I think you need to take some things in consideration. Do you want to be able to mark color on stainless steel? If the answer is yes, then you're gonna want to look at the D1 Pro, right? If you want to do finer detail and do like portraits and pictures and things like that, you might be looking at the P20 Plus because that's one of the biggest complaints they had about the 20 watt D1 coming out was that the the laser point was gonna be bigger. Also size is a consideration. You've got a bigger engraving field on the P20 Plus. Accessories, the X-Tool has one of the best rotaries out there. I, if it's compatible with this, great, but I don't know if it is or not. But one of the big ones, and I mean, it's a big consideration, is price. So right now the P20 Plus is $1,299 on their website, and if you buy it before the 23rd of September, there is a $400 off coupon on the website. So you get $400 off. So right now the 20 watt D1 Pro on Xtool site is $1,199. So 1200 bucks, but that doesn't include an air assist. So if you add their air assist, it's another $139. So right now the P20 Plus is a hell of a deal. And for more build dead, build goodness, check out this video right here.